geographic weighted regression and automated evaluation models. The, the book is uh, it's the second part in a series uh, done by um, Tom Calco and uh, Maurizio uh, Diamato, and um, it, it includes an update in methodologies that are used the world over for um, AVMs and uh, CAMA models. Um, we're seeing, uh, you know, every every year there's an increase in data availability, um, and as well as computational power. Um, so home computers, office computers are faster, they're quicker, they can process this data. Um, and also with the increase in technology and offerings, people are able to find resources to learn them. So um, we're seeing uh, uh, these ad advancements are, are, are coming uh, sooner and faster. And uh, this book kind of sheds some light on what folks are doing uh, you know, the world over uh, with respect to property values. What is geographic weighted regression? Geographically weighted regression um, is a modeling technique that helps um, account a little bit for uh, location and it allows uh, model estimates to vary over space. So, you know, instead of having um, one model in one area of the market and another model uh, down the road, uh, geographically weighted regression allows you to have one blanket model that kind of changes geographically um, and uh, that's why it's relevant. Uh, geographically weighted regression um, has been shown to achieve um, more accurate and more uniform results um, because it allows um, model estimates to uh, vary over space. So for example, one, uh, it, lots of models will apply one price per square foot estimate um, to an entire um, market. This allows price per square foot to vary um, from location to location. Uh, it allows you to do some exploratory analysis to see how sales and how markets are behaving over space so you can make more accurate adjustments. What information is needed for a geographic weighted regression? All you need in addition to the characteristics of the property to execute a geographically weighted regression is some sort of um, consistent coordinate system. So um, any sort of um, XY coordinates that you may have internally in a database um, or latitude, longitude coordinates. Um, you can um, achieve this in um, a wide amount of GIS software um, or you can, there are certain websites that if you don't have uh, the software that you can get it for free mm -hmm. and um, there is software out there for free that you can use. Um, I specifically use R which is free and open source and there are tutorials online that um, can help people learn how to um, uh, build these models and execute them uh, in their own office. Does geographic weighted regression help with the modeling of commercial property? Geographically weighted regression helps any valuation approach where you feel um, there might be some inconsistencies or differences from one location to another. So if you feel that um, a particular market or submarket that you're looking at is um, going to be different, let's say in downtown or um, uptown or outside of an urban center, uh, geographically weighted regression allows you to um, explore that and quantify any sort of discrepancies between those. Why is geographic weighted regression an advantage to what has been used in the past? Lots of the time we want to track down lots of other GIS data, um, you know, whether it's traffic, uh, distance to a city center, distance to public transportation. Um, geographically weighted regression kind of um, helps uh, save you time and effort by allowing you to um, compare adjustments and values um, across a geographic space uh, without necessarily having all of that data. Um, so it just kind of acts as a bit of a proxy in some cases. 
um, and accounts for lots of the location data. Not all of it, you can still improve geographically weighted regression models with additional GIS data. Um, that might be a whole uh, separate conversation piece, but it does help reduce um, some of the problems and errors that you run into when you start assuming that um, all adjustments uh, behave the same um, across space. What data is needed for a geographic weighted regression? You don't need any additional data uh, that you uh, don't already use in your valuations aside from uh, perhaps the XY coordinates or the latitude and longitude. Um, and then that's all you need to get started running your own geographically weighted regression models. Where can people get assistance on setting up a geographic weighted regression? They can get assistance from me. There are, uh, there's an abundance of resources on YouTube. There are blogs. Um, there are uh, there's a, forums online with a host of experts that are um, ready and willing to help you learn for free. Where can one find the book? The book is called Advances in Automated Valuation Modeling, and IAAO members can find it in the uh, IAAO Research Library website, and you may check it out for free as an ebook for 14 days. The ebook may be read on a PC, tablet, or smartphone using Adobe Digital Editions.